Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and I'm gonna speed through this intro because I am starving right now. This is the worst time to film because I just got home. I am past the point of hangry, so the whole plan of like taking my time, doing an update, showing you what I'm cooking, I have like zero tolerance for it right now, so I'm just gonna get right to it. But I'm gonna be doing an update video on my Ninja Speedy. I got it this time around this time last year and I know people have been asking about an update, how's it doing? how's it going whatever so I just figured I'd show you it in my natural experience which is to use it on moments like this when I just want food and I want it now so if you didn't see the original video the breakdown of the ninja speedy go ahead and check that out come right back here it is super straightforward it's very hands-off um, you can get very creative but I'm gonna stick to probably one of the recipes that I've done many times before I might have actually featured it in the first video so forgive me if I'm not coming up with you know creative meals but like I think I've said in the beginning we keep it straightforward now is not the time for experimentation because like I said I'm starving but I'm looking at it right now so that's why I keep like doing my eyesight over to here because I have a tiny kitchen New York City apartment tiny kitchen so my ninja speedy is not located in my kitchen it's in my open area I might just sit it on a chair uh, does it make sense it does not but there's nowhere in my kitchen that this would actually fit unless I always had it stored where I do and as you'll see when I'm in the video or if you've seen in the past video doesn't really just kind of can't just sit there I think I'm gonna do an orzo couscous something something I got from Trader Joe's put that on the bottom um, I have some broccoli rob that I kind of want crisped crisped wow <laughs> that I kind of want crisp so I think I'm gonna put that on the top tray and then I need a protein and I was gonna do tofu But I didn't even prep or set that out So I'm not really sure what I'm doing from here, but we'll find out when I get in the kitchen uh, But yeah, let's go make a speedy meal cuz I'm hungry Okay, so this is when it can fit into my kitchen and as you can see this is probably not a good spot to have it Like all day every day cuz I had to like shuffle things around so that's why it's stored elsewhere because there is no space okay so what I really wanted to do was to do my famous uh, chickpea curry that I did in one of these previous videos I think it was like a day in the life thing but I really wanted to do that but when I went to Trader Joe's there were no potatoes so I got the chickpeas but then I'm not doing that because it's too fast so all right it's gonna take for a while so I'm gonna actually model one of my recipes off of this little sheet that they give you when you purchase the ninja speedy so I'm gonna be doing kind of the Buddha bowl so this is what it looks like this is one of the little papers that you get I'm gonna go with the Buddha bowl and then on the back here it literally outlines everything that you need to know for making it so I think I'm gonna do the beefless bulgogi again which this is just to reheat it I've got this blend right here of some orzo couscous etc I'm gonna put this in the bottom add some seasoning and then it says you can add some of your veggies to it so I do have some pre-cut mushrooms already I knew I was gonna make this that's why I bought the pre-cut ones normally I like the ones that aren't pre-cut I think I'll just do the mushroom and the couscous on the bottom I'm gonna do the broccoli rabe on top and depending on how much space I have I might do the broccoli rabe for the majority of the time and then this um, beefless bulgogi actually only says you need five to six minutes in the air fryer and on here it's saying that you could add your tofu in at the top and then it'd be cooking for 15 minutes you know it really is a shame that almost every time i cook something goes awry i do try my best anyway i'm washing off this broccoli that is soon going to be crispy because of a simple mistake that i made but you're going to see this and you're not going to make the same mistake but that's why i'm going to keep it in here because you live and you learn so anyway i'm washing off my mushroom and broccoli and then i'm going to pat it all dry let me just say now if you already have the ninja speedy comment down below what some of your favorite recipes have been so far or if you're looking forward to trying this out what would you use what's going to be your first meal that you're going to try out in it with the ninja speedy you load the grain or the veggies on the bottom this is a multi cooker um, so in the bottom it's going to be steaming and all that so that's why you can do those types of dishes down there so i'm just adding in my seasoning i'm adding in the couscous i'm adding in the mushrooms as you can see uh, yes i love my white spice some onions some garlic and then i'm putting the crisper tray in and i'm adding the broccoli on top so that's how you separate it now again crisper tray the top is closest to the coils and so that is where i made my mistake and in theory that's all there is to it you just close the top make sure that in this instance it's on rapid cooker because i'm doing the speedy meal versus just on air fryer which will just fry everything up 
I'm setting it to the temperature that I decided before and also 15 minutes. One thing I think I did mention in my last video, but in case I didn't, is that if the cooker's not ready, it's not gonna start cooking yet. So even though I turned it on and pressed start, it's got like two dash or three dash lines here, so it's warming up, it's like getting this thing ready. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna toss in the bulgogi separate, and again, that only takes five to six minutes. What I have seen sometimes people do is they put the vegetables on the top tray in foil and have that separated off and then they have their meat next to it. I like that in the meantime while this is cooking I can already start cleaning up whereas say I was cooking on the stove it's kind of like I have to like sit there and pay attention or you know poke it, move it around, saute it if you will, but I can already start wrapping things up here so I could be sitting down eating this even faster. When you use the rapid cooker there will be some steam and some other settings as well so you just want to make sure that that air is like or that space is a little clear. I know it kind of looks like it's under here but it's not. There's some distance here so as best I can move it, again tiny kitchen, um, but as best as I can move it I try to keep it away so that that is wafing um, not under here. So another reason why I can't have it like under my cabinets. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that it's already cooking. We're at 12 minutes. But guess what happened? I opened my freezer and I forgot I had leftover Van Leeuwen. So I'm having some vegan ice cream while I wait for my food. I didn't say this was a healthy video. I didn't say that. Don't put those words in my mouth. I just said I was hungry, okay? And this is how I cook. So I'm keeping it real. Now I'm a believer of full honesty and so <laughs> I don't really know what to say. This is not a reflection of this Ninja Speedy, it's a reflection of me because I should have realized that 15 minutes for veggies <laughs> is just a little too long. Um, so <gasps> I gotta keep it honest, there's no way I can't post this, like there's no way that I could just pretend because I don't believe in that. Even if this video was sponsored, which it was not, I would still show this because this is my process. Let's see what we can salvage though. This is not the end. Let's see what we can salvage. So this thing is always super hot, so you gotta use something to take it out. We are good, it smells so good. So the couscous came out banging. The broccoli on the other hand, yeah. So I don't know, let me show you up close. This is good. We're super happy with that, it looks flavorful. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the couscous out, store it, and put in my protein, <laughs> the real protein. This is all um, non-stick, so it's as if it never happened, if you can see this. Um, I also just took out all the couscous, and I cleaned this out in a second. So again, it's like it never happened. So we start again. And now I'm going to do what I've done before. A quick five minutes of air frying this bulgogi. I'm gonna just dry this off real quick and then pop this back in. So if you do make a mistake, like I did, you can easily just wash it off and start again. This time around, this is going on the bottom layer because we're only putting one thing in. I'm gonna put this in right here separate them out i'm going to switch this to air fry 375 for four to six minutes so that is what i'll do and i'm just going to start that and it's already warm so it should be ready to go and now we'll clean up again like this might be a bad idea but i want my spinach so i'm going to dump this in the the bulgogi has two minutes left so it's two minutes of my life like this can't be a bad thing but if it is we'll find out in the next clip. I just wanted it to wilt down real quick. It's done. I'm just gonna drizzle on some tamari. I made it to the finish line. I think last time I put these bulgogi like in a taco and it was so good. I don't have any of that. But you know, I, I righted that wrong. I will absolutely say it is not the Ninja Speedy's fault that the broccoli got burnt. But what I could have done if I didn't have the broccoli was put the spinach with the couscous or so mix down below with the mushrooms and the water and that would have mixed it all in and it would not have burnt because that was a steaming section so it's like dual it's like steaming and then air frying at the top because if you haven't noticed these are the cooking rings or the the rings of fire here at the top so that's why everything at the top gets like crisp crisp Crispeded? That's not a word. Crispeded is not a word. But that's why everything at the top gets crispy because it's like closest to um, the coils or whatever. That was my meal and 
I got a meal out of it, so that's a win in my book.